Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm joined by Mason Cartwright. Wow, what a 12 round fight that was. Uh, these British title fights always produce good fights. It was fun for me to watch. Was it fun to be in there? Yeah, I loved it. I, uh, as I say, like it's my first 12 round there and uh, I jumped into deep waters. It's probably one of the best 154 fighters uh, in Britain at the minute. And when the fight offered to me, I jumped at it because I know I'm capable and uh, I'd like to do the fight again. And if he won't fight me and Troy moves on, let me box someone else for it. Uh, I've proven I'm obviously at that level. It's, I've had one fight in two years and one round that was as well. And I've jumped in on a 12 rounder. Like, I know I'm capable. I know I'm capable of winning all these titles at 154. And uh, look forward to the future and more fights that I can have. Talk to me about the scorecards. I mean, when the 12th, when the final bell went, you put your arms up in the air and you screamed, and the new, and the new. When the scorecards were read and there was 116, 117, 111, what was going through your mind? I, I was just shaking my head because the second they started reading them uh, wide points, I knew they were for him because throughout the fight I was kind of scoring it in my head mm -hmm. and I had myself up one round going into the last round and I thought I'd done enough in the last round, pushed him back enough, tied him up enough and landed some good shots. Uh, so obviously when the final bell went in my head, I had myself two rounds up. But then when obviously they were reading the scorecards out, I, I knew obviously from scoring the rounds myself during the fight that I wasn't that many rounds up. I knew it was a close fight, but I had myself one or two rounds up. Uh, so it kind of spoiled it for me when they were reading them out because I knew that wide decision was going to be for him. Uh, and it's been a bit of controversy at the minute, isn't it? Like, look at the Carol Taylor fight and a few others in the past. Uh, I don't know how they got them scores, but still, he's the British champion. Uh, maybe I had to knock him out to win. Well, that's the thing, the scorecards were wide, but it, it doesn't tell the story of the fight. It was a very, very close fight. The knockdown in the second round as well, big, big right hand. Um, you seem to have just thrown it from the, your feet, just right over the top, man. Kept him on the head. Did you think you had him? Yeah, and I just got a bit too close and he, he was able to tie me up. I needed to take that little half a step off and give myself a bit of room for leverage for more shots. But again, I got a bit hasty, I thought I was going to get him out of there. Uh, and it's a shot that's been working for me in sparring as well. A little dip of the knee and a right hand over the top after I've been stabbing the body with my jab. So when it landed, uh, I felt it sh shoot straight through my arm and I knew I'd hurt him, but uh, as I say, I, just maybe it's just a little bit of inactivity. Obviously, like I can say I've had one round in two years, one round, mm. and I just jumped in with probably one of the best one five fours in in the country, and took him a distance, and uh, I'm ready to go again whenever. That's what I was going to say as well. Um, you took him the distance, British champion Troy Williamson. We talk about the Ted Cheeseman fight, then we talk about the Kieran Smith fight as well. His last two performances, he seemed to have been able to land these shots on these opponents and get them out of there. But for you, he landed some big shots on you and you, you took them. I don't, I don't think once you were wobbled or... No. I, I, didn't, I, look, I tried to look if you were hurt, but it didn't look like you were hurting any of these punches. So is that just a testament to, to your training and everything that you've been doing on for this camp? Yeah, uh, I've always been a fighter from a young age. Uh, and I've always had a good chin. Uh, I've been stopped once before where like I was hurt and that was against Danny Ball, but I'd, I'd killed myself to make weight. That was at 147 and like... The shot he, he caught me with was a shot that I'd normally eat for breakfast and it was just a case of I, I was weight drained. Uh, but yeah, as I say, I've proven my chin tonight, like he's meant to be a massive puncher and it, he didn't rock me at all. Like I suffered, uh, I, I think, a perforated eardrum, maybe seventh round, which made me go a bit like, Ooh, but I regained myself. I'm tough, like I said, I'm a fighter. Definitely. Well, obviously, I've seen Paul Butler ringside. He's got his world title fight. He was screaming for you. He had quite a good support. I think it was your brother that was yeah, beside yeah, me, screaming, yeah. screaming, amazing every yeah. three seconds. So there was some, there was some great support for you out there. You just yeah. got a message for your fans? Uh, just Team Naughty. Uh, they, they follow me everywhere, and uh, there wasn't as many as normal tonight because obviously it's a Friday night and it's in Newcastle. Not a lot of people could get the time off work. Uh, if I was back at home, I'd probably have as many as Troy had in here tonight. Uh, I've got a good following and I love them all. All my sponsors that have stuck with me from day one, uh, all, all my friends, family, my team. Uh, I can't thank them enough and obviously I'll repay them in time with titles. My time will come.
154 division domestically has been alive, but all the names, Troy Williamson and Ted Cheeseman and all these guys, but there's a new there's a new guy in town, yeah. Mason Cartwright. I said to Sam after, I said, you've got to have me on again. You've got to get me another fight on one of these bills. And I was uh, just as winking to him in between rounds, just to say, I'm here, <laughs> I'm here. So. Here, listen, you, you need to get stitched up. You've got a cut above your, your right eye there. So go and see the doctor. Thank you so much for doing this, Firefell TV. And no doubt I'll see you again. Cheers, thank you. Cheers, Mason. Cheers, bud.